drive by Nevada because we crossing the Colorado River meaning right now we are raising Arizona we're in Arizona hey over there Joe lunchbox Enjoy night. and today we have landed right here in Oatman Arizona looks like the middle of the desert to me but in case you don't know I am always searching for Americana always searching for kitsch I love history so we're a few miles away from Route 66. We are going to pick up Route 66 in Oatman and drive today from Oatman to Kingman. Say that we're not doing all of Route 66. We're actually on a trip to Vegas and came down here for a day. But I wanted to come, one, because I love Route 66. Two, because Oatman has wild burrows. And when I heard wild burrows in an old mining ghost town, I was like, yeah, we got to go. We got to bring you along. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go look at Wild Burrows, check out the town of Oatman, see what we see a little bit on it, a little bit of Drive Route 66, and have a good day. <laughs> if you like that kind of thing, you should like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, comment down below. All that stuff's always appreciated. We love it for you stopping by, but it's time to do it. Let's do this. Step right up, let's go for this ride. Oatman, 15 miles east in the Black Mountains. In the historic Oatman Mining District, many original buildings still exist in the ghost town site. The Tom Reed United Eastern Gold Road and other mines produced more than $30 million of gold from the early 1900s into the 1930s. We'll tell you a little bit more of the history of the town when we get to it, but we figured we still have 15 more miles to go down this Long, lonesome road. This is a good spot to start the video. Donkey, donkey. We have our first wild burrow, and it looks like it's a mommy and a baby. Hello, we have wild donkeys. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You are so cute. Look what you got, a little baby. So we have the mama looking in over here. Hi, mama. And oh, oh no, hi. <laughs> ready for your close up? Oh, careful. Careful. You ready for your close up? <laughs> We're coming on our next wild burrow. image of a donkey right over there. I think I'm gonna like this town. <laughs> this town already feels like the kind of tourist attraction I am searching for. World famous Cactus Joes. Cactus Joes, that's when I sit on a cactus. Oh. I found my sweet ass in Oatman, Arizona. The donkeys we saw coming in did not look like that. I'm Cactus Joe. Oatman is an old gold mine town. I actually found some gold behind this cutout. They're using that giant block of gold to weigh down the cutout. Cactus, I feel like I'm in the West. I could feel like a real cowboy. I'm gonna take your best shot at the shooting gallery. Oh yeah, this is good. 24 shots. I'm gonna shoot this chicken farm fresh eggs. Hmm. All these other moving stuff now. The skull's moving. I love sorry so we gotta get some snake oil. I tried to spray ya. I must 
old timer. What do you think of those shooting skills? It was all right, pretty good, son. I must say so myself. So if you want to know a little bit about Omen, Omen was actually first established as a tent city in the mid 19th century. But you see in 1915, two miners found a gold vein equaling to $10 million today and the town started to boom. After that, within one year, the town grew over 3,500 residents. Three fires hurt the town, uh, almost destroying it, but they rebuilt. And in 1924, though, the problem they had is the largest mine, the United Eastern Mine, shut down. This caused the town almost to die. Now, when the mine shut down, they actually released the donkeys they were using. So the wild burrows we see now are those donkeys from when the mine shut down. They're kids and grandkids and grandkids. But the start of Route 66 kept the town going for a little bit. Route 66 faded away, but the revitalization of Route 66, which actually started here in Arizona, helped the town regrow to what you see today. I don't think that's used for tattoos. I think it's used for cheap tattoo removal. It's cool how the boroughs literally walk right through the center of town. We actually have a baby right here. And there's the mama. We have the baby and mama. They're all hanging out with the motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. They figured a steel horse is related to donkeys. Gotta get him out of the road. Arizona. Here in a few minutes, we're gonna be doing a gunfight right out here in Middle Street. First, we're gonna fire off a shot and let everybody in town know we're getting ready to do something. So watch your ears. Here it goes. Now, this restaurant ice cream saloon, the building itself might not be important, but the name on it is. Olive Oatman. You see, Olive Oatman was a woman that in the mid 19th century was kidnapped and enslaved by local Native Americans. The town is actually named after her. It's very cool that she's honored with the ice cream parlor. I like the picture. See, she actually has a chin tattoo that probably would have happened during that time. Ready for some cowboys and gun shows? How do you want it? The Red Ridge Marauders. Looks like they have donations and donations go to St. Jude. <laughs> and also the Omen Historical Society. The mining started here as early as 1865. The Moss Mine sits about two miles out in Silver Creek Wash. It was operated from 1865 to 1942. But the gold that actually started the town of Oatman and the Boom Boatman would not be found until 1895, the first time around. In 1895, a man by the name of John Whiteley was following Beale's trail. Now, he was following that trail when he realized there was a quartz vein over the side of the mountain. He went to investigate, realized there was gold in that quartz, so he went back to Kingman and stuck a claim on it. Well, he came back out with his tools to work his claim, but some, uh, they all got in a gunfight over the gold, and when it was all said and done, they were all three killed. So the gold was lost for four years. Four years later, in 1899, a man by the name of Jose Jerez would be grumstaked by Henry Loving just to get him out of Kingman for a while. Jose had been a colonel in the Mexican military, but by the time he got to Kingman, he was just a heavy drinker and kind of a nuisance. So they grub stake him just to get him out of town. <clears throat> they send him out along Beale's Trail, something around the top of Sit Creek's Pass, about five miles up the road from here. In his telling the story, he fell asleep and his burrows wandered off in the middle of the night. But in case the next day, when he went to go find those burrows, they were standing right next to the quartz vein that Whiteley put a claim on four years earlier. So they turned around and sold the whole thing to United States Steel. Or today's money, about a million and a half dollars. Now Henry Loving went on to be a very prosperous businessman and died a very wealthy man. But anyway, <laughs> Uh, from 1901 to 1942, Oatman was the most populated place in Mojave County, which is the fifth largest county by area in the United States. Through 1901 and 1942, the average population of Oatman would ebb and flow through the years from anywhere from eight to 10,000 people. By 1942, after World War II had started, Roosevelt deemed that gold mining wasn't necessary for fighting World War II. Now, <clears throat> in 1941, all the miners would leave and the population would go down to about 300 people. Those 300 stuck around believing the gold mining would come back when the war was over. But by 1951, they realized it wasn't coming back anytime soon, so they put in a bypass from Kingman to Needles going around the back side of these mountains in order to eliminate the windy road. It went from a population of 300 to nothing almost overnight. All those people knew that road was going in, and they knew the day they cut the tape, 
town would up and die. So they were all packed up, ready to go. And the day they cut the tape, they pretty much all paraded right out of town. And it uh, was pretty much a, a town of nothing at all up here until 1955 when Holloway, Hollywood came up here and filmed a movie called Foxfire. And then about 1957, they filmed another movie up here. And then 1961, they filmed the parts of the movie How the West Was Won. And once that one was done, there was enough buildings that they had rebuilt to make the movie that there were a few, a few businesses that started up. They were usually only on the weekends and uh, at least sometimes not even more than maybe one weekend a month. Uh, but by 1978, when I-40 ran right over the top of the bypass going around the mountains, Oatman started to come back to life. More and more people were traveling down Route 66 uh, as a tourist route and a historical route. And if you wanted to stay on 66 after 1978, you now had to come the original route through the mountains and through Oatman once again if you wanted to stay on Route 66. Now we are the Red Ridge Marauders. We started that name up about 10 years ago to pick up slack. A lot of those years we were only doing these a couple times a week. Now Oatman is a gold mining camp out of town. It has no city government, no boundaries, no city, no city, anything. It's simply a community built around gold mining and always has been. But uh, even a gold mining camp has to have a bank and our bank is over there. Now, anytime you got a bank or an asset office, which is back over here full of gold, you're going to need a sheriff to guard that gold. Fortunately for us, that would be the bad guys. Somebody shot the sheriff last week. <laughs> yeah, it only took one bullet, too. Is that you you shoot the sheriff? Me? I won't admit to it. We didn't want to admit to it. It wasn't me. One you? Nope. One me. I shot the deputy. I missed him. <laughs> park right there. Had two bags of gold. Oh, wow. <laughs> did you get to rob it? No, I didn't get to rob him. I'm gonna go in there. Oh, I'm gonna shot. One of us gotta go Rob's not hard. Let's get out of town. Yeah, look at that. Two old bags. Good. You did good. <laughs> yeah. Sure you are. Look. I'm mad at you anyway, so you better get down here. Hey, what are you mad at me for? I know you're the one who stole my wife and my horse. That way, huh? Alright. Yeah. That way. What they went upstairs. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong there? We got a lot of people around here, they can help. Help? Yeah, I can help. All right, they're gonna help. There you go. Help. Help. Both of us say we're ready. Oh, they're wrong. They're not sitting right there. Don't do it. He's hiding behind the woman. He didn't want to get shot. I'm ready! I'm ready! Oh, 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 what'd you shoot me for? This ain't working. You don't give me that gold now. Man. Now look, I got another way of doing this. Yeah, what's that? You know how to catch a tree? Three? Yeah, three. Yeah, I got three. Alright, you catch three because on three I'm going to shoot you. Oh, all right, I'm busy. Here we go. Good Mississippi. Good Mississippi. Wait a minute. Oh man, again, what now? You don't even know where you at. We ain't Mississippi, we ain't in Arizona. One Arizona. <laughs> Two Arizona. Four Arizona. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong? You left the number we're gonna shoot on out. Yeah? Yeah. Because we four. Great! Right. <laughs> I don't care, I'm keeping the big bag. I'm taking it. Oh no! Anybody else want me my partner? <laughs> I'm going to Mexico. Anybody want to go dancing? I'm a good dancer. One. <laughs> we want to walk it all over there. So you guys have a great day. God bless. Woo! We got to get some grub here in the Oldman Hotel. It's originally built in 1902 by John Durland. 
The hotel was originally named the Durland Hotel and it featured Spanish colonial revival architecture. And I see, I told you earlier how the town burnt down, but they rebuilt the hotel in 1924. And the, the most important thing about it was the movie started being filmed here and one person that liked this town was Clark Gable. So on March 29th, 1939, Clark Gable and Carol Lombard actually spent their honeymoon here after getting married in Kingman at the Oatman Hotel. This spot is definitely cool. Covered. Covered in dollars. I think they have a good retirement fund here. I want to know how many thousands or millions of dollars. And also, who climbed to get it on the ceiling? Anytime there's a chance to get some sarsaparilla, that sounds good. And it says, Oatman Famous Wild Buffalo Burger. Well, if it's famous, I guess I should eat it. Joy, do you want to have a burrow ear? If you're curious what burrow ears really are, they're seasoned homemade potato chips. I love the names of some of these drinks. Donkey Pea, coconut rum with sour mix and club soda. On top of what we already said, it also says that this has been the home of Udi the Ghost since his death in 1930. Udi came from Ireland to be a gold miner and lived in the hotel. Now it feels like the old west. <laughs> Look at like Willie Nelson for president. Framed rattlesnakes. I like this dollar. Lucy and Tim's honeymoon. Just think. Clark Gable, Cara Lombard, honeymoon here. And then they came here on their honeymoon, Lucy and Tim. Joy, did we honeymoon wrong? Instead of going in mudslides to St. Croix, we should have came here. That would have been better I don't think we're going to get any mudslides here. It's really cool to watch people hang dolls, but also people that have came here years ago on vacations looking and actually finding their dollars on these walls. I went for the special buffalo burger named after the hotel with some Monterey Jack cheese. And Joy went for something called the Gunslinger, <laughs> which is massive. It is an open-faced hamburger covered in chili and cheese. and cheese and onions. That giant chili covered burger disappeared. <laughs> Gonna make our mark. So he found this perfect spot over somewhere in this corner where we were sitting for our for lunch. And there it goes. There yeah, forever. It's weird for me to staple dollars to walls when I'm used to people stapling dollars to me. <laughs> cool. Only one thing left to do. Gave a Lombard honeymoon suite. Visitors welcome. It is cool that we can still walk up and see the honeymoon suite. Here it is. Room 15. Carol Lombard, Clark Gable. They fell in love in 1936, a leap year, at the full dress white Mayfair ball. Till then, she had thought him stuffy. He had objected to her profane language and boisterous public behavior. The next day she had a pair of doves sneaked into the hotel room while he slept. Before long, they were obviously publicly happy in love. And it's talking about a brief stay, room 15. Amazing, we could see what the hotel room would have looked like. T today's standards, it's pretty humble for a honeymoon, but it must have been awesome. See, the Oatman Hotel is actually on the National Register of historical places. And if you want to see where the honeymoon happened, you enter through Sweet Sally's Ice Cream. I gotta go. Joy. What? I gotta go. Can't go there. No piano. What about on the porch? Yeah, no, that, oh. that's also no. 
all the signs advertising the classy ass. Everything but jokes because they're donkeys. I love this. Kodak film. Donkey's going into the store. There's a donkey. Burrow food. He's going right in to get some food. He's like, no one's bringing it to me. I'm going to get it myself. <laughs> he wants to get food himself. Got a shopper. I know what we're doing in the store. <laughs> He's eating the box. Hey, the box is in your food. I no, it's not. What's the matter? Which one? That's hilarious. <laughs> You're a fool. You wanted to eat the cardboard box before I saw you try and eat the cardboard box. I see you looking. I see you looking. That's what he was doing before. He was kind of like tweaking out. Right He's trying to give himself his own treat. Oh, yeah. Taking the lid off. Two, three, four, five, ten, and two. Joey made a friend. All right, ready? Are you ready? Oh, he wanted a cookie. You got a good cookie. Aww. And this is what you come to the town for. <laughs> you are just the cutest little thing. You do have a best friend. I do have a best friend. Angel, please, sir. Same man gets the money, no matter what. It was nice meeting you. Thank you for welcoming you us to town. Who wants gold when you can get some rock candy? You can see the flowers are painted like their lollipops and candies. I found it, I found the gold! <laughs> We're rich! Now, just, do you think this is more than 50 pounds for the airplane? I think it is. I love the general store. When you take a look at the general store, you can see old signs that were written on the corrugated steel above and along the awning. Soda water, ice snacks, Eximus, Film cameras, t-shirts. In the general store, it looks like we have a cool collection of signs to look at. Oh, really old Roach Stout, gas pump, some Coca-Cola, mobile. I knew we were gonna see cool stuff, but I didn't see, think we'd see a replica of the motorcycle from Easy Rider. Don't sleep on the general store. Make sure you come in. Check out the, get some souvenirs. Check out the back rooms. Did you know Ratfink rides wild burrows? Get your ass to Oatman. In this case, I'm talking about the brothels. Take a step back in time for an example of what the room at the brothel, the crib, would resemble in late 1800s, early 1900s. Hey lady, you don't gotta put on the red light. For your no trip would be complete without a crushed penny. Which one are you going for? The, the burrows, of course. I bet you it's gonna be the last one. Okay, and okay. Something's happening, I feel it. Yay, crushed penny. Achieved. Sometimes I plan things wrong. One year I have to get back for the Great Oatman Bed Races. That sounds like an event right up my alley I would love to see. Jenny and Jack's artifacts, the Great Oatman Coin Heist. We see the husband's waiting area. He has been waiting for a while. But that's what this town is. Some cool little souvenir shops, some spots to eat. Gunfight show, a free mine museum. I have to say, Joy, I'm glad we're coming to this town in 2023 and not when this would be the thing. Yeah. Imagine being locked outside in one of these things. Ugh. I think you go right from this cell to this box actually go into the mine. Here's a museum. I'm doing it. I'm gonna find some gold. It's 
cool that this is free. We literally just walk in. I'm looking, Joy. We're gonna find that ore. I figured we, we had to see a mine if we came into this town. So here we have the mine museum. Right across the way we actually have Oatman's Historic Jail and Museum as well. Ooh, cool finds. Some dead cactuses. And some... Uh, wait, where, where did Joy go? <gasps> I found it! The original Oatman Donkalo, discovered 1986. New Digs, Oatman, Arizona. Hee-haw, hee-haw. On the way out of town, we found the mommy donkey to feed. Mommy donkey, you want a cookie? Joy, I think Joy fell in love with this town. She likes feeding the donkeys. Joy, you making friends? Huh? I know, you're trying to get the one with the beautiful white on his head to come over to you. It's funny. You might want to feed the little baby, but he actually has tape on his head. Please do not feed me. You got one. The old timey guy got one. I love the color on his face. Bye, Mama. Bye, baby. <laughs> this is worthless this year. <laughs> we had to pull out because this view from here is epic. Just look at it. Take it in. The peaks, the valleys, the mountains. This view might be amazing. We are right now driving on Route 66 from Oatman to Kingman. But that's not why we stopped. We actually stopped to find something called Schaefer Springs. You see in 1930s, while working for the Work <laughs> Progress Administration while constructing the Gold Road section between Gold Road Mine and Kingman, a man named Schaefer noticed water cascading down a cliff wall Using stones, he constructed a basin to allow the water to pool. Since then, locals have been supposedly stocking with goldfish. So we pulled off right from this road because we saw this over here. A set of stairs going up. Supposedly up these stairs is the Schaefer Springs. Well, imagine he was just working. So water trickling. So he's about to get a drink. Just patched it in. We found one. There is a goldfish here in Schaefer Springs. Every so often, more and more goldfish start popping to the surface. Now one on the far side, but the thing that's getting me nervous is it's a lot of yellow jacks here. So I think we're gonna say we saw Schaefer Springs and back away slowly, leaving them alone. If you didn't know you were what you were looking for, you would not find this. Only reason we knew it was here is we saw the stairs on that turn. I knew it must be right over here. Blend so into the wall. And I thought we were done with the donkeys. <laughs> Five hundred and ninety-one turns, eight miles, no guardrails. Arizona Sidewinder. As we continue down the road, we have made our next stop here at Cool Springs. Cabins, tasty foods, more or less now it's a gas station. But this building here was one of the buildings that was inspiration for Radiator Springs in the movie Cars. Lightning McQueen's here. ka -chow. I gotta say, this shop really rocks. You can even get a donkey in a can. Don't worry, it's not real donkey meat, it's a plushie. Their claim to fame, 91, the building got blown up for Universal Soldiers. Love some good display cases. And a Route 66 kitty. 
Route 66 Kitty. See, there's Radio Springs Curia. Joe, we're seeing all the wildlife. We, you pet wild donkeys, and now you pet the Route 66 Kitty. Wildcat. Hello, Route 66 Kitty. You're the guard of the ice cream. <laughs> Walking around Cool Springs, reading every sign there is to read. Cool Springs Station, sitting on the eastern slope of the Black Mountains, is the site of Cool Springs, an important life-saving water source for the desert native tribes of the Mojave and the Hulapi Indians. In the 1850s, Lieutenant Ned Beale and his camel brigade used the site for watering the U.S. Army horses and camels. We have some old oil pumps. I love the stone structure and how they have the vintage gas pumps. Imagine the car that you drive up, fill up, keep on going here. And if you came from Oatman and you want to bring a donkey home with you, you could buy a little metal burrow. I like some of these boars and the Segura cactus, even though they're not in this part of Arizona, they're way more south, but they're iconic when you think of the desert. I see why Disney Imagineers chose this spot to help uh, inspire them for cars. I'm always on a search for Americana, and this, this is the feel I'm looking for. When I think of Route 66 heading west, this is what I imagine. I'm filming Joy, just here's donkeys in the distance. She's looking for them. She wants more burrows. There's somewhere right over one of these ridges right over here. Not in the far distance, literally like 100 feet away. But we're not going to start exploring through this, uh, this desert brush to find them. We've made our way to the Kingman Visitor Center Museum and gift shop. Sadly, by the time we are getting here, it is closed. But we do, of course, have to take the car through the Route 66 Kingman, established by Arizona 1882. Roadside drive through. This hasn't been here since 1882. Kingman was established in 1882. So we made our way to Kingman, and Joe just had to drive through Route 66. <laughs> we made it through Kingman. I drove through the giant Route 66 road sign. Joy, Joy's imagining she's driving through it. Honk, honk. Okay, I'll move any way, lady. I'll move. <laughs> it looks like we're not the only ones that had the idea. You gotta drive through it. You just gotta. You also gotta be careful with your mirrors to make sure you fit. Be you great got if they, like, it. Just park the car there. They got it. it. Out, took a picture of their own car. They might. The stuff that we do see is pretty cool. We have these pictures about the Santa Fe Railroad, and they're showing Santa Fe locomotive 37592 rolling through Southern California during the farewell to steam excursion on February 6, 1955, and we pan to the right. And in the town square park is that Santa Fe steam locomotive number 3759. It's awesome sight. Mr. D's Route 66 Diner. We see Mr. D's R66 for Route 66 Diner. The neon star to light up has an ice cream sundae there. It looks like mint chocolate chip. Looking at the distances, Chicago's only 1,805 miles away. I don't think the rental car place would like it if uh, we took it all the way. I want to do it all. One day, one day me and Joy are going to get to do it and see it all. Can't drive all Route 6, but we had to at least see El Trovador Motel. Because they have the world's largest Route 66 map. I would give anything if me and Joy were staying here tonight then continue on Route 66, but this was only a day trip. We're in Las Vegas, we just wanted to come see a little, but we had to end it here at the El Trovador Motel. 
looking at this map from California to Arizona. That's just, we only just did a little bit of Arizona to New Mexico. That's right, this is the world's largest map of Route 66. To Texas. It keeps going. We made our way to Oklahoma. And these, if you are driving Route 66, find these vintage hotels that have been restored. Show them love, because this is, this is what makes Route 666 great. This nostalgia. Missouri, only one more state left. There it is, the world's largest map. We made our way to Illinois and Chicago. El Trovatore, Route 66. Monica's ice cream, Sam gas, there's train coming. We could picture the old stagecoaches heading west. Got some Looney Tunes characters. There is nowhere better to end, I feel, a Route 66 video. We came, we accomplished the goal. We saw wild burrows, we fed them. We went to the classic Oatman Hotel. Mm -hmm. Saw a gunfight. Mm -hmm. We drove, we saw Schaefer Springs. Cool Springs, the gift shop, and ended here in Kingman. We even drove the rental car through a big Route 66 sign. Yep. I can see it's a pretty good day. What do you say? I think it is. If you're in Vegas, it's only about two and a half hours from Vegas to Oatman. Don't pass it up. Really, like, take a day. Do this. It's a really... You escape that feel of Vegas, and this is awesome. It's slower paced. You really get to take in nature and see some historic Americana. I think we could call it. I think so. A day cruising, Route 66. We got our kicks joy in Route 66. <laughs> Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels. Good eats. And live life. Joy. Why? I don't like this. Why? It's the perfect fit. It was like it was made just for me. <laughs> Did you send them on my measurements? I'm not saying anything. <laughs>